G'day everyone, thanks for being here with us today. My name is Craig and today I'm here to have a little bit of a rant. There's something that's really been irritating me a lot lately and whilst I'm just another dude doing nothing special, I can't help but call it out. I can't help but call it out. As someone now part of this research community, I can't help but call it out. And I won't be the first person and I won't be the last person, but God damn it, it needs to be said. So sit back, relax, grab a drink and enjoy. This is one ranty episode of Paranormal and Cryptid Adventures. This is going to be difficult to address because I've been doing this yaoi thing for no time at all. I'm brand new to it effectively. There's people been doing it for, for decades, right? And I've been doing it for mere months. But in those mere months, I've noticed something that is really starting to irritate me because at the end of the day, what I'm going to talk to you guys about, it drags everything down. It drags the entire research community down. It drags us as individuals down. It drags the cause down and it makes us all look like damn fools. And that thing that I'm talking about is BS research, man. Dodgy, stupid, making up rubbish research that makes everyone look like idiots. Now, if you're going out there with all good intentions and you believe that you may have captured a Yowie in video, in audio, or in picture form, and you're genuine and heartfelt and you feel like you have something, and you just want to present it to the world and get feedback, then my friend, I understand exactly where you're coming from. Because that desire to get that feedback and get other people's opinion, it's one of the driving forces of this whole research thing. You want to know, am I going crazy or did I capture something? And at least with my channel, my subscribers, half of them know more than I do, you know, and half of you guys give me information that I didn't even know and I learned from you guys and I think that process is a beautiful thing. I think it's one of the strengths of YouTube, full stop. But what I am so sick of is rubbish. Let's zoom into a photo where there's a shadow and let's zoom in so far that there's seven pixels on the screen and if you squint your eyes and turn your head to the left, you can see an eye and a mouth and yep, that's Bigfoot. Oh, that's Yowie. Oh, look, it's a Sasquatch. That's, I want to swear. That is rubbish. And if you're doing that, stop. Just stop right now. There's a bottom line with this field of research and here's what it is. We are out here trying to well, some of you are trying to prove existence of these things. Some of us, like myself, are trying to forge an understanding and maybe, maybe even a relationship with these things if they're real. So there's a, a mutual understanding and respect. Some of you are out there to get video clicks, to get subscribers and to make money. Whatever your motivation when in this cryptozoological field of research, specifically the Yowies, the Bigfoots, the Hairy Men, the Sasquatch, etc. Part of the allure of it is you're the one to prove it. You're the one to get the video. You're the one to get the photo. You're the one that can sit back and go, I have contributed to history. I am the one that has unearthed this mythical beast. And these aren't mythical beasts. These are sacred beings, at least in my opinion. These are not things that you go out lightly and try and antagonize and try and tabloid the crap out of. You know, these things, if they're real, have been around for thousands, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years. They are wise. They are connected. They are potentially mystical and physical, spiritual and physical. If these things exist, then they are more aware of humans, our habits, our tendencies than we probably are aware of. They probably have disdain how we absolutely destroy and rape their land for our own needs. And they're probably sick to death of people like me going into their home with cameras and trying to take photos of them. Much like a celebrity would be sick of a paparazzi going into their space and taking photos of them. But one thing that I try to do is approach this with a very highly respectful, spiritual, uh, sacred kind of perspective on it, kind of approach. I don't want to go out, you've seen in my recent, actually you wouldn't have seen it because that was one of the videos that got deleted. And I will be refilming this video. But basically I was discussing my philosophy and how I don't think any longer I want to just go out and chase them down. I'm not going to go into it too much, but my whole approach to Yowie hunting as it were is... I don't want to hunt them down. I want them to come to me and feel comfortable with me and forge a relationship that way. Forge a relationship, build an understanding and trust. 
And I think there's too many of us out there going out there for cheap hits, cheap thrills. We're walking down the middle of the night with 28 people, 52, 52 cameras, 78 torches, and we're just out there and we're just, we're being way too arrogant in our research methods. And then when we hear the little thing or a stick falls, we all jump, oh, a stick falls, yeah, we come on, guys. We need to get more fair income because this whole field of research is starting to look ridiculous. It's looked ridiculous for, for decades. But by going out there and trailblazing our way through, we are not giving the due diligence, the honor, respect, and the sacred right to these beings that deserve it. And we expect them to then be okay with us when they we're in their territory? No, that's not okay. So this whole video is a rant against the research community. And look, this is controversial stuff. All right, I might lose friends over this video. People might take it personally and be like, screw this guy, who the hell does he think he is? And that's a valid point. Who the hell do I think I am? I've been doing this for six months if I'm lucky. All right, who the hell do I think I am to come in and rant and get on my soapbox? You know why I'm doing it? So I don't care about politics. I don't care about the game playing within the community. I'm not in it to make a thousand friends. I'm not in it to make enemies either. I'm just in it to do my thing. And right now my thing is I'm sick of watching videos on YouTube and I'm sick of reading research that's absolute rubbish. We're making up stuff. We're not being honest to ourselves. I know some of you out there are making up evidence and faking it and then you're playing dumb like you haven't. Bullcrap. Bullcrap. You're faking evidence, man. Not everyone. Right? There's a lot of legit evidence out there that people are absolutely fine with. And those people, good luck, man. Smash it. Go and find a Yowie, make friends of it, and marry it. Go for your life. I'll be supporting you all the way. All the way. I'm not a, um, I'm not a jealous person. I want to support everyone that's doing this legit. And if you're doing it legit, man, good on you. Keep it up. I've got time and respect for people like that. That you're putting in the hard yards, you're plugging away, and you're not, you're not lying about what you capture. You're just being real. To those people, man, love your work. But you guys know who I'm talking about. You guys would all have a YouTuber or a researcher that you're familiar with that just makes up crap. You know what I'm going to do? Wait. I'm going to pull out my phone right now. Let's do an experiment. All right, I'm going to take a photo of the scenery in front of me. All right. Done. Now that was just a random photo of that. I'm going to scale with that photo. I'm going to find a yaoi in it. I'm going to pull a bullcrap research move and I'm going to find a blur or a face or something that I can knowingly mistake and go, oh no, I know that's a tree. I'm going to tell everyone it's a yaoi. And I'm going to prove to you my point. It is so easy to bullcrap evidence in this field. Guys, I've said it before. I have a new channel. Do you not think I want to bullcrap research and get 10,000 views on a video overnight like that because I put some stupid thumbnail and I bullcrap some research? I'm human. Everyone wants success, everyone wants recognition, of course I'll do that, but I absolutely refuse. Because the second I start doing that kind of thing is the second I might as well just throw the channel in the bin. I've said this before. There is no channel if there is no integrity. End of story. There is no valid research if there is no integrity. If I've lost my integrity and a yaoi comes up, gives me a high five and walks off and I get it all in HD and there's no disputing it, no one's going to believe it because I have no integrity. But if I'm filming for two years and I don't get much and then suddenly one day I get something, people are going to go, holy crap, that Craig bloke, he actually got something. Oh, really? Oh, I can believe it then. That's what I want. I want you guys to be able to trust every word I say. Not, oh, look, there's a blurry picture. That's a yaoi. What bull crap, guys? This has got to stop, man. It's got to stop. You're making us all look like idiots. I tell people I have a channel where I do cryptozoology stuff and I, and I hunt down, you know, I look for the yaoi's and all this kind of thing and people look at me like I'm a weirdo. And I say to them, it's a legitimate pursuit. I'm, I'm researching the potential um, existence of beings that are sacred and ancient. And, and there's nothing that I'm doing that's silly. Every now and then I get a little overexcited in the moment because I'm human. But I'm not sitting there at my computer analyzing a picture. I mean, God damn, I've seen people get images off Google, like off like, you know, the backdrop of Windows, sorry. And zoom in on and say, look, there's a yell, there's a big foot here. Like, Come on. And some of you are going to know what I'm talking about there. That is such rubbish. I, I hear people saying in that photo I just took, oh, there's 78 Yowies in that photo. They're everywhere. They're not everywhere. And there's not five or six of them in every photo you get. They're not everywhere. You know, there's spiders everywhere right now. You know how many spiders I've seen today? Zero. What's the odds of me ever seeing a Yowie legit? Very small. So if you're on a channel and you're pumping out all this proof all the time, it's rubbish. You know it's rubbish and it needs to stop. 
So I want to put this on the channel because I want people to know where I stand. I'm standing for no... Oh my god. I'm also, I'm also standing bitten by a thousand mosquitoes at this point. I'm standing for no rubbish. I'm standing for honesty in research. I'm standing for a boring video because nothing happened, but you maintained your integrity. That's what this channel is all about. And if you're one of those YouTubers that you think is pulling out rubbish research, then I'm sorry that I insulted you. Obviously, I'm not going to name names because I'm not in that game of dragging people down. I don't want to drag people down. All right, but I do want to call people out. And if you think you're faking footage, then just have a think about what you're doing. Have a think about the damage you're causing. You know, at the end of the day, it's not going to help. It's only going to hurt. So I'm here to say, stop it. Just stop the bullcrap. Start with the honesty. Get back to real research. Get back to really accepting nothing as a valid result. Because most of the times you should be getting no result unless you're in a crazy hotspot. So that's all I wanted to say. I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from. I'm not trying to soapbox or big note myself or say I'm better or worse than anyone else because I'm not. I'm just another dude. But please, we've got to start holding Yowie, Bigfoot, Sasquatch research to a high standard. Because otherwise, it's just going to keep getting ridiculed and we're not going to get anywhere. Anyway, now that that's been said, that's off my chest. I'm going to go hang up this, hang up the phone. I'm going to go press stop on this and get back to my wife and kids in lockdown load mode. All right. Have a good weekend. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.